Geo Gypsy Traveler moves into Frida. Yes, and uh, Tater's Girl. Yeah, she's out of here. And Sarah said to Tim, still boring as hell. That's right, G.O. Gypsy Traveler. She just moved into Tater's old RV. I'm just wondering how long it's going to be till she regrets that decision. Oh, uh, well, she already gave it a good uh, scrubbing. Wasn't terribly dirty, but I vacuumed and wiped everything down before moving in. So a lot of cleaning to do. It's not terrible. You know, it's just kind of everyday living it with it dirt. But there you go. Yeah, you want to go over and check that out. You can go check out the Geo Gypsy Traveler. Um, yeah, she shows us around, talks about the mattress that he cut so the door would open and all. You know how Tater does stuff. She ripped that damn uh, dresser or whatever it was that he put there to put the TV on, and she put her desk there and everything. So, yeah, she kind of made it her own. And then she had to uh, call Tater over. He had to come and show her how some things worked. She wasn't sure how this worked, that worked. And he's got the cameras and all that other dumb shit in there, the backup cameras. So he had to show her how that worked and a bunch of other things. So I'm going to keep following to see if and when she posts a video that, yeah, things are starting to break down. This don't work. That don't work. So I will follow that fiasco in the making. All right, good old what's her name? That's right. I told you guys, I told you there was no reason for me to know her name. I didn't need to learn her name because we all knew it was going to happen. Tater, it never lasts. It doesn't matter what, if it's his fault, her fault, whatever, it never lasts. But oh, what's her name? Yeah, she packed up and left. As soon as Tater fell off the roof, she's like, okay, next. Yeah. So I'm sure she uh, grabbed a couple uh, <laughs> cases of Bud Light and found some new buddies to hang out. So yeah, she's got her cast and she walked off with her arm in a cast and he is laying in the hospital with broken ribs and what else? I guess we shall find out. But I am sure. Then he'll be crying and whining and tell us all about it on the next video, an upcoming video. So all that the, uh, the, all the cat ladies that aren't paying him on Patreon can find out what happened to poor little Tater. But, uh, what everybody wants to know is, did he bounce? <laughs> oh, the other thing that everybody wants to know is what about the kitties? What happened to the kitties? The fuzzy butts. Who's taking care of them? Uh, if you get the, an ambulance ride out of there, uh, what about the RV? How do you get the RV out of the uh, racetrack? What happens? Is it just there? Uh, do they know what happened? Is it okay? Whenever you get it, you get it. Did somebody drive it away? Uh, did he call Big Daddy Kevin and come to the rescue? But uh, that's what everybody wants to know. And uh, hopefully, good old Tater Tot will uh, get his little butt out of the hospital and Take some videos and let everybody know what happened to the kitties and the RV that still hasn't registered or inspected properly because he waited to the last minute and now he's got even bigger issues. But that's the way nomadic fanatic does shit. We don't take care of important stuff that needs to take care of. We do what we want to do because yes, daddy, I do want it and I want it now. That's the way of the tater. Now I got to talk about boring ass Sarasota Tim. Now, I was talking to a friend of mine and uh, he got his little um, social security statement. You know, once you get to a certain age, they send you this thing that says, if you retire at this age, you will get this much. If you retire at this age, you will get this much. If you retire at this age, you will get this much. And it explains everything that, uh, yes, even if you do uh, keep going, you accrue more and you put into more. So this number could change. It could go higher. And it tells you a whole lot of information. And <laughs> what I what I found out from my friend was, he said, once I read this, it took me a little while just to read this. And now I know exactly how stupid and moronic Sarasota Tim is and how much bullshit information that he gives. You're fucking high. Are you out of your mind? If you get this little thing, read it and it'll tell you everything and it will tell you everything <laughs> that sarasota tim says is bullshit it's real easy i just thought that that was hilarious
and i did try to watch uh, some more tim videos oh my god he's so boring oh my god he is oh he is worse than nails on a chalkboard let me tell you i i scrubbed i scrubbed ahead i was like uh, uh i watched a little bit and he best coffee I ever had prison job prison job prison job all the prisoners trying to shut the fuck up I was like oh my god dude how is this every fucking video do you have anything new so I scrubbed ahead a little bit and, and I'm like, okay here we oh the teardrop I can't stand it up in this one and blah 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 how many fucking times are you gonna say this the same thing boring so i scrubbed ahead some more oh i can't find a lady and a lady wouldn't want to rough it like i do well i'm not roughing it. it's not roughing it to me but i'm sure a lady wouldn't find this appealing and wouldn't oh my god oh but i'm not lonely dude come on man get a grip you're not lonely man, get, get the hell out of here you are lonely and look, you you planned for your life like you planned for your financial future. You didn't. Your financial future was what? Oh, I'm a, I was a low earner. I was a particularly wasn't a particularly high earner. I was a low earner. Oh, and as soon as I got that, oh, what, what, COVID relief? This, that? Okay, I can get free money. Oh, well, yeah, I'll get this money. That's to keep my business open that I don't have to pay my employees that I don't have to pay all my overhead that I don't have. So he just sucked up all this free money. He was like, this is awesome. I'm getting more money now than when I was out there in my prison job. So then he just continued on with that lifestyle. Yeah. I don't want to do anything. I am going to do zero because now I get more free money. That's right. He calls it the free check. And that's the way he planned for his life in general. Did you fall down and smack your little head on the pavement? He, he has no one. He has no one. That is why he yabbers to a fucking camera constantly all day long, every single day, seven days a week. Doesn't take weekends off. Doesn't take holidays off. Doesn't take his birthday off. Doesn't take anybody else's birthday off because he's got no one that gives a shit and he doesn't care about anybody. He talks to a camera all day, every day, because one, he is lonely and he can pretend that he's not because he can pretend that he's talking to his community. Yeah. Come on, man. That shit's getting old. You're boring. You're dull. You tell the same stories over and over again. You are lonely. You say you're not, you are so lonely that you tell just like oh. grandpa, you tell the same, I remember when stories over and over and over again every single day and he sure as hell doesn't know how to treat people that is obvious all you have to do is watch some of his videos go back and watch some of the other ones and watch some of the stuff that people put up and the little clips he treats people horribly and he definitely doesn't know how to treat a female he treated tammy like garbage and it's very clear in a lot of his videos most of them were deleted but people got clips he treated her like shit we all heard how he talked about the people that worked in the garage that where he got his free oil change that's right he got a free oil change and that wasn't even good enough for him it was free but no he wanted more he needed more and he talked shit about them people he talked he talked down to them he talks down to them all the time. he talks about the people in their prison jobs oh hustling off in the morning to get to their prison jobs because they're late and oh they have to answer to the warden man you are a fucking moron he talks down to these people it is so horrible you can come on tim you can do all the devotionals you want and you can crush it for god every damn day you're not fooling anybody you're a horrible person you talk down to people all the time you're Oh, you treat people like shit and you act like they're beneath you. And you're the one that has nothing, nothing, no financial future. You save nothing. You have nobody in your life. And when, if something happens to you, that's it. It happens to you. And no one would even fucking find you for a week because no one cares. Oh, and I got to say this real quick for a dude that washes his truck constantly every other day or whatever. He did this little thing about showing how traction control works. Duh. His his dash cluster is filthy. It's disgusting looking. It is horrible. 
for a guy who walk, I guess it must be the outward appearance. So people, when they look and go, oh, look at the beautiful truck. And I'm sure we all should know by now what year it is, what make, what model, because he says it 15 times a week, like somebody really gives a shit. But he shows how traction control works, which is hilarious to me because this is a guy who bought a teardrop and took it home and then found out a week later, oh, look, it has a window and it goes up and down. And he's going to fucking tell people how shit works. He doesn't know how any damn thing. He probably just found that out today himself. But back to, this is what I wish would happen. I wish that people would, even if they'd get a bazillion views, I wish everybody that worked in Florida would watch a couple of his videos just to find out what a giant piece of shit he is. Just to see how he talks about them. The people that service his disgusting ass every day. The people at Wawa, the people at 7-Eleven, the people at Walmart, and everywhere else he drags his nasty, lazy, stinking ass. I wish they would all just, oh, here comes that prick. Oh, I got a prison job? Well, watch what I do when he walks up to my counter. Walk away. Where are you going? I'm leaving my prison job. I don't want to be here anymore. Why don't you, uh, you know, get it yourself? Because I quit my prison job. We all do. We're all out of here. We're not doing anything for you because we don't want to be below you anymore. We want to be equal to you. So we're all leaving our prison jobs. So you can fend for yourself there, turtle head boy. You know, oh. That shit just drives me crazy. So they all just need to go, oh, here he comes. Hey, Tim, fuck off. We all quit our prison jobs. Go ask God to help you. And hey, this is Blind Views, and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.